Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the atomic shop because we have uh, six returning items today. So, we're going to walk I'm going to walk you through them, show you through my second account that doesn't own anything so you can see the real discounts on it. And uh, I'm going to also display the ones that I have so you can take a look and make a decision whether it's something you want to get or not. Uh, afterwards, take a look at the daily challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score and the daily ops see what we're going to be facing up against today. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into the video. Alright, so let's take a look on what we got at the Atomic Shop today. Now, if you watched my Tuesday video, uh, you should have seen the natural resistance player icon is free, so you can claim it now. Uh, tomorrow it will be gone. Uh, then we got the Raider Collectron Station uh, with a 30% discount and this uh, Puddle Skirt which was also available since Tuesday. Uh, the new things that pop today are the following six items which you can see down below. Right now I'm locked, logged in with my second account so this account doesn't own any uh, Atomic Shop stuff and in this case I can actually display uh, the discounts and everything so <laughs> I'm still thinking why didn't I think of this sooner? But anyway, so we got the shop billboard set, which is, which is actually a pretty cool set, and you can do some pretty cool stuff. I'm going to log in with my main and display the current items that I own, so you can take a look and decide whether you want to buy it or not. Unfortunately, I won't be able to display the things that I don't own, and I don't think I'll be buying. Uh, the vending machine paint set. Uh, this is the very standard one, the very first one, the very first skins that we got for ever since the vending machines came. Uh, essentially, there are way better uh, vending machines out there with more like animation and other stuff. This is just a random vending machine. It's just you know different skins. And that's it. They don't have any animations or anything like that. Uh, just a little bit of different paint skin. Then we got the rustic sink over here. I don't own it on the main as well. Um, I don't plan to buy it. The Rustic Fountain as well. I don't own it and I you know if I ever decide to build some sort of a bar or a restaurant it would be cool to have. But wait we got actually clean sink version. We got it I think from season one I think if I'm not mistaken. And plus in season three there's a lot of good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna have to review that and think if I want to get it. Uh the vendor sign set. This this one's right here. It's pretty cool. I'll show you them in a sec. And the responders uh plywood signs. Uh well it's good to have essentially if you like build like themed camps, like if you're building something medical, you can have these things. Uh and on top of everything else, uh, this specific sign set is actually included within the responder bundle, if I'm not mistaken. So if you plan to buy the entire bundle, uh, actually there's a new system that will make a discount uh, for the bundle if you own this specific uh, item. So that's how it is. All right, so uh, these are the six. Let me log in with my main account. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you have Fallout First, uh, you also have access to the Fruit Hat. Since my secondary account doesn't own Fallout First, I didn't see this item. I don't remember was it up on since Tuesday. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. But anyway, uh, let's start with the shop billboard set. Uh, I'll show you how you, where you can find it in order to build it, and basically how, how all the items look like. All right, so if you decide to buy them, you will be able to find them in your MISC structures, and this is what you're gonna get. So these are all the four items, right? So you can build them. And by the way, the cool thing you can build on top <laughs> and make it look even bigger. <laughs> I'm not sure how high you can go, uh, but still, I find that funny. But anyway, uh, a pretty good item to have, to be honest. Like, especially with that price. Not a big price, but the billboards do track att attention. You can actually also build like on them. So, for instance, if you want to build, uh, let's say, for example, uh, where are those lights? Yeah, those lights over here. And let's say you kind of want to make them shiny at night. Uh, you can sort of like put it like, wait, hold on. There we go. Something like this. And it will shine. <laughs> Can't you can trust? 
All right, the next item we're going to take a look at are those vending machines. As I've mentioned, nothing super crucial. I mean, it was the very first skins that we ever got for the vending machines, and they look pretty much identical. This is the default option. You can find it in your vendors section in your build menu, and that's how they go with it. Uh, so these are all four, right? And as I said, it's just a skin applied. But as I said, you also have better options, like this one right here, uh, the Halloween one, uh, this candy robot whatever <laughs> and I actually like this one because it can stack like you can build one and you can, and it kind of connects not, not not stack it connects uh, and there are other I made a review for this bundle you might want to take a look at it it comes with a, some sort of a bar set and they also kind of like connect as if you're building a wall and it's actually looking really nice so definitely a must go with I mean by recommendation. Uh, essentially, there are way more vending machines, like uh, like the new uh, the winter stuff and stuff like that, which I don't own, so I can't show it to you. Uh, but I don't know. Well, these are pretty old, so I would not recommend getting them because, as you say, you can get some real good ones. So I would save up on those. Well, I mean, I would skip on that and save up on some of these. These are way better. All right, the next what we're going to take a look at is the vendor sign sets. To be honest, these are a little bit confusing to find. And the reason is, for some reason, I don't know why, uh, but they are located at your wall decor, uh, which is kind of weird because y you can't actually build it on a wall. <laughs> uh, it's It should be in the ground, in the floor decor. As you can see, uh, you can't build it. Like these signs that are also in the atomic shop, right? We'll cover them as well right now, why not? I mean, since we're looking at them, right? So as I said, nothing too fancy. It's just uh, stuff. <laughs> Alright, but at least they kind of work They work properly, right? So, as you can see, it's wooden with some signs, so uh, nothing too big. Now, in regards to the vendin vendor signs, right? There are nine of them, and uh, they are actually floor decor, so... As I said, once again, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? You want to say hi to Z Clan? <laughs> so, uh, you can find them in the Waldecar section, and this is the first one that you will see in uh, the drop menu, right? And then you just build them, right? Uh, so, that's how they look like. So, pretty cool to have. So, for example, if you have a vending machine that sells, like, legendary vendor, I mean, uh, legendary weapons only. And instead of having those sort of like, uh, you know, wall decor, small letters that you have, you can just put, I don't know, something like that. And it can tell uh, the guys who are visiting your camp, hey man, uh, this vending machine's got the legendary weapons. So yeah, I mean, there's a whole nine of them and the price is good. So it's a really like optional good to have. Uh, to be honest, I've never used these. <laughs> I mean, I, I got them on the I thing of very even higher discount but I don't remember me actually using this because whenever I would build my camps I usually get carried away and essentially have no build budget <laughs> alright so that's uh, pretty much it for the atomic shop I reviewed everything that I owned so I hope the, those reviews will help you in making a decision whether that is something you want now let's go and take a look at the daily challenges, which are also pretty straightforward. I completed uh, pretty much all of them, apart from the nuclear winter one. So you got to build a floor or wall decorations inside your shelters five times, uh, complete a daily operation, which I already did, and <laughs> guess what I have? I'm going to share uh, a screenshot of what I got today. Today I got a bonus set. <laughs> Just comment down below, what do you think I got before I actually watch it? Uh, complete an event uh, one time, pretty straightforward. Uh, do five daily challenges, and this triggers automatically. Kill a legendary enemy. Uh, I usually go neither to West Egg or uh, the Golf Club, White Spring Golf Club, because it's guaranteed to get a legendary. It never fails me. But if it does, in some I don't know, maybe super unlucky day, I'll go through the Fisher sites where the Scorch Beasts spawn in, and Scorch Beasts. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, they have a. I've even I've noticed maybe a much higher rate in getting a legendary. I've seen a lot of legendary Scorch Beasts, by the way. Uh, kill Super Mutants, West Egg. So what I did, I went to West Egg, killed the Mutants, got the legendary, shot him. Good. And level up one time. And you'll get your score. 
Um, rank 66 already. Oof. And I've been doing only daily and the weekly. <laughs> I haven't been playing this game a lot uh, lately. But anyway, let's uh, take a look what we are facing at the daily ops. So today is the burning mine, which is super easy to do with robots that explode on death. Uh, actually, very easy combo uh, and very doable. So, <laughs> would you like to know what I got? <laughs> just so you know, just so you know, for the past three days in a row, I was getting none. Actually, none. <laughs> uh, but today I got a bonus, which is the borrow signs and the hello neon sign. <laughs> I just load these signs, man. I don't know how many plants of these are thrown away. <laughs> I guess, man, I don't know, I just get spammed with those plans, to be honest. Like, the RNG in Daily Ops has not been good to me at all since the very start. But anyway, uh, this is the screenshot I've shared on our Discord and our Xbox chat. So for those who haven't joined our Discord, you might want to give it a go. Uh, if you're going to be uh, joining us, make sure to read the rules. Also, you'll get a pop-up. Make sure to read the rules. We will ban if you don't follow the rules. Uh, once you're done reading, you just come to access to chats, request access to chats, and it, you'll need to accept the rules. Click Z over here, uh, select the platform, right? Uh, select the PvP sign. In that case, you will see the PvP chats if you want to or not. Uh, then everything is kind of like uh, automated, so so you don't end up seeing all these chats, right? That we have created. Uh, you can select what you want to see. So for example, if you want to see only Fallout 76 chats, you just click Fallout 76 and you'll see only Fallout 76. If you click other games, you'll see some other games that are uh, playing online like Cyberpunk, Assassin's Creed, Battlefield, etc. And uh, ESO uh, recently added this combo because I started playing ESO a lot lately. So that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, if you want to get access to our trade chats, you will definitely need to accept the rules and once you're on the trade chats, there is a, another set of rules that you might want to read all right all right and that's pretty much it for today so i hope you enjoyed the show and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure you're not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by youtube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you want your comments to be read feel free to comment negative positive whichever just don't swear simple as that if you're new subscribe well welcome to z clan i'm gamer z soul from ukraine so have from ukraine once again if you want to join our discord the link is down in the video description along with any other links that you may find of use so once again thanks all for watching you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it at, and i'll see you in the next video bye from the ashes we rose into the future